So in part one, I conclusively have shown you that um, people are all evil and outside of the divine order. And it's not just spiritually, right? It's not just some kind of theory. This is logic. Logically, you are not doing the right thing. You're having ill-gotten gains. You are stealing. Everyone is stealing from me, okay? They are stealing from God, and they are cheating themselves in terms of morality. You cannot be a moral person if you're saying, hey, I'm just going to kill one person every day and rape one female every day, while everyone else is killing 100 every day and raping 100 every day. No. The line is the most logical direction, the most logical way to be a moral person, and that cannot possibly include conformity. If you're not persecuted, you don't have a chance of being a moral person. And if you're not persecuted because you're trying to restore the divine order, which is the logical way that humanity is leading, you're not wise enough to be a good person. So you're not good enough to be a good person if you're not persecuted. You're not wise enough to be a good person if you're not trying to restore the divine order. This is unavoidable logic. Okay, so we look at um, rape. I went over again. We're e poor, e pair, right? Sabotage, ego, obi, ass, right? Sabotage. Rape itself is a form of sabotage. Stealing is a form of sabotage. Killing somebody, like killing Martin Luther King, is a form of sabotaging a race, all of humanity, etc., a family, and so on and so forth. Right? What is the main purpose of sabotage? What is the main, what is sabotage in its pure form? It is attacking the spectrum of the ego, the idea of one's place in terms of OBAs, which in terms of a martial art pharaoh, which must be the continuity of uh, the correct uh, reproductive cycle, which is OB. It's even in the wordplay, Kuro Obi, black belt, right? OB means to carry, carry the lineage, carry humanity forward, okay? Of course, it goes back to the horse martial art, horse scale, the Trojan horse, the horse stance, and so on and so forth, uh, and the, the chariots, and, and so on, and, and the core eye, uh, you know, chariots for idiots, you know, the core eye of the O, you know, of the E's, okay? The core eye E's is another way to look at the chariot, right? It is using technology, okay? Uh, there's various things that are part of the core eye. That includes uh, um, core, I believe it's called, who is another name for Persephone, and that has to do with Satan changing this woman. You know, the, the story of Persephone and Medusa being raped by Neptune, uh, Persephone being carried away by Hades, among others, are stories of how women are part of an evil cultivative process individually and generationally and as a group, okay? They are accepting being carried away, so to speak, by Western culture. The old, let's not get carried away. Well, you are, and you are empty vessels that refuse to stop at nothing to side with this guy, which is true romance, right? The, the, the idea of the fast lane appeal. What about God's speed? You know, you know, a boring life, right? Set the bore versus a guy who is facing his enemy, who lives a fulfilling, meaningful life you know, which is superior to the fast lane kind of criminal, which gives you an accelerated psychological kind of feeling. Anyway, all my life, since my gifted child test, when I was a child, I was doing uh, Algebra 2 in pre-kindergarten. I had a gifted child test. I scored it, you know, as a gifted child, and they have sabotaged me mentally and physically. Now, all black people, to a certain degree, are targeted because of the potential for them to rise as a soul brother, as a Martin Luther King, as a Malcolm X, which we really don't have any comparison from any other race in American culture. Go ahead and put in the comments. Who compares to Martin Luther King or Malcolm X from any other race in any culture and why? Is it some, you know, the American revolutionary guys? They're fighting over money, right? No taxation without representation was their main complaint. You think fighting over the root of all evil is superior to fighting over the spiritual direction of humanity? You're an idiot if you think Thomas Jefferson or George Washington compares to Martin Luther King. You're a fucking moron. And I have no time for that stupidity. So when we look at um, the steps, okay, the old world order, right, the concrete jungle, okay, taking steps in the wrong direction, okay. So man has been moving in the wrong direction, and they're moving toward a concrete jungle, and the rose cannot grow in concrete when they have covered er a concrete jungle where they have spiritually covered every possible other way, right? The gate is closed. There's no, not going to be the, the rose that grows in concrete, so to speak. There's not going to be the hero that magically emerges. They have destroyed that possibility. Everyone 
after I die, breeds in the direction of ill-gotten gains. The surveillance state, the marketing techniques of the internet to identify people, and all of these fake social controllers that rise to power and they look at you. What is the, the mentality of this person who visits uh, uh, Tim Wise, who visits Colin Ross, who visits these different, even my uh, uh, videos, except for I'm not a social controller bitch, okay, who visits these different videos, right? What is the pattern of these people and what do we do with them? Right? What what sites are they visiting to research? And we screen them out, right? That's that's what they're doing. Not me, but them. Okay. They're trying to make me gay since I was a child in various ways. And I'm not gonna, you know, waste my time explaining this. They're trying to make me uh, slip on things, right? They're giving me false information, singling me out for false information to say things to avoid my key points on the top martial arts. I've overkilled that. Um, uh, the sun gate closes, I overkilled that. The eugenics and reproduction are some of the main, the, probably the main things people should be worried about in terms of politics and spirituality and, and, and the future, right? The reproductive cycle that should be controlled by Pharaoh and so on and so forth. Who's, who, what, when, where, how, why and so on. Okay, I've overkilled these points. They try to get me to slip on little things. America is evil. I've overkilled this point. They, you know, conformity is evil. Controlled opposition is evil and so on. Okay, feminism is wrong. Uh, the church is wrong. You know, all these points sound arguments. Okay. People are emulating the kind of Greco-Roman deities. Sound arguments. They try to make me slip on little points here and there. You know, uh, trying to predict the Republican um, nomination was also a place they tried to lead me astray because they impressed upon me that a prophet should be able to predict, so I tried to do it their way instead of the martial art way. Um, and I learned that you can't do it that way. Okay. And again, it also goes back to the idea of insight, sense. If you cannot tell just by looking at me that I am... Um, the top martial artist, that I am God's representative on earth, why not? Is it the drugs that I have highlighted? Is it their sabotage? Is it their technology that I've highlighted? Why can't you see the difference between me and everyone else? You know, can you see the difference between an elephant and a snail? Okay, can you, why can't you see the difference between me and everyone else? Granted, it may not be that dramatic, but it is there. When I see my videos and I look at everyone else, and I look at their videos, I see them in person, I look at their pictures, Nobody comes close to me. Just by looking at me, God, the image of God, God made the Pharaoh in his image. And the Pharaoh is cultivating men with the spirit of God through him. Horus means face. If you cannot see that I am the top martial artist just by observing me, the way I'm saying things, the absence of ill-gotten gains in my explanation, if you cannot see that, why? If you cannot see the difference between an actor and a psychologist and somebody who's been groomed to present themselves as someone like me and me, why? Okay, it also has to do with the reproductive cycle, your ability to sense ill-gotten gains, Satanism, uh, eugenics, and the, your cultural response and your inability to separate yourself from racial pride and to accept that God is above race. Races are something that come about, you know, in the last few thousand years in some case. You know, uh, you know, they're, you know, this tribe, right? When, how long, how old is it really, right? It's stupid to see it in terms of, you know, I'm going to make my new tribe today and I'm going to be proud of it. It's fucking petty. It's despicable. I have no time for that tribalism nonsense. In terms of this tribe is where you look because this happens to be the place this bloodline went to. And this is the martial art kind of group of people. Yes. In terms of everyone in that tribe, automatically I'm going to save and, and they're good people. Stupid. Stupid. If they hold, if they push their tribal line, you know, and their tribal customs, that's all there is to it. Stupid, okay? The Igbos are a confederacy or a grouping of peoples. And it, the Igbos are like Egypt itself, where there's different villages that act like cult centers. It is stupid to just to say, if you're an Igbo, by default, you're a child of God. Are you probably closely related to me? Yes. Can you, from a, a, a non airy cult center, destroy the divine order? No. Even if you're from the village of Airy, can you deny the truth that the sun gate closes when I die and that you didn't stand with me, therefore you have ill-gotten gains? No. Okay? There isn't a man on this planet, even from my own family, that can restore the divine order. Granted, my family are pretty decent people. Okay? Only I can, obviously. There isn't another person. Again, they cause me to slip with the drugging, to say things like that. They might take it out of context and act like bitches. That is part of it. They define things. Their wordplay, which includes taking people out of context. If you don't pick up on that, you're an idiot. If you don't pick up on rhyming, right, poetry, hip-hop, rapping, if you think wordplay is not a part of life as defined by the West, you're a fucking moron. I have no time for this stupidity. If you think symbols aren't where we got letters from, you're an idiot. 
If you think vowels and alphabet is a coincidence, you're an idiot. If you think the word play even in sports, right? Uh, uh, um, um, running back, right? They sabotage my back with drugs and, and it makes it harder for me to run and do physical activity, right? Cornerback, right? A uh, wide receiver, right? As, as in terms of you know Satan, Mammon, I believe it was. Or excuse me, it was a uh, uh, Beelzebub as the embodiment of gluttony as one of the seven deadly sins. If you don't understand the difference between an ogre and this thing and how that word play highlights that, you're an idiot. If you don't understand why football is more popular than basketball and how it elevates big people over kind of coordinated, uh, quick people who are quick, who are more intelligent and and less likely to be hit in the head and be stupid and to be a, a kind of dumbed down brute, you're an idiot. I mean, it, it's like what are we even talking about if you can't understand that? Okay, you know what? Why why are you even watching my videos? Okay, so um, kid, ever since I was little, even kids were uh, provoking me uh, in organized events as I look back at it. If you think I'm confused about that, you're a dumbass. Women and female were shunning me. Females, little girls, you know, all my life, you know, as a kid, little girls were shunning me, females and so on and so forth, growing up to be women shunning me and so on. Okay, in the most populated state, one of the most populated countries, and so on, right? The promised land, right, quote unquote, right? The, you know, this is how they sell it to people, right? The land of opportunity, the promised land, there's certain parallels there, and this is a consumer capitalist money is an overall evil bitch fucking country, okay? It's not exactly the spiritual promised land, okay? However, you know, uh, in terms of uh, um, uh, who goes where and why, okay, what brought my dad to this country, okay, it was because he was from the tribe of the martial art order, which brought him, you know, the CIA brought him here to this country, okay, and without a penny, he rose to be the top brain surgeon speaking English and so on, so, you know, fourth, fifth language or whatever. Anyway, so, the girlfriends, my former girlfriends giving other guys more credit in a way I can firmly connect to this. Right, they're obviously lying about me, and and defining things in terms of Western culture and being a gold digger. Right, you know he's he's sabotaged and so on, and he's doing the right thing. Who cares? He can't support us. Right, being a gold digger is also a generational trait. You know, in, in the absence of extreme, you know, of a, a greater degree of mind control than than we currently have, what causes a woman to be a, a gold digger? Right, certainly she's seen a lot of the movies that we all have. She's aware of a lot of the religions that we all are. What made her go in that direction? Her parents' grooming only goes so far, especially in a society where people rebel against their parents' teachings. They have no excuse. Being a gold digger shows inferior genetics, period. I have no time for the stupid opposition arguments. That's not up for debate, period. Okay, at this point in time, period. Hundreds of, um, okay. There are hundreds of secret societies in America that operate for this purpose, right? With millions of members, secrete, secretion, semen, Right? What is the secret? Right? Secret society, the Rose Cross, a symbol of romance. Right? Secret lovers, secret relationships. You know, and so on and so forth. What do you think they're keeping a secret? Okay? Are, are they all work for national security? They're keeping sex and trade secret. A reproductive cycle and resources and helping each other get uh, the, the upper hand. Right? Presidents are masons and so on, and they control reproduction and so on. This is their consideration. Golf club. Right? Club backwards is uh, bulk or bowl. C? I mean, come on, you fucking idiot. You know, country club. You know, psychology uh, creating substances, lies, um, violating people, um, and so on and so forth. We look at penetration in terms of murder, right? Uh, uh, um, admire, right? Ad more, ad ira, a ra de, e room die. So we look at sexual activity outside the divine order. It's all rape, right? It's all psychology based. Penetration and murder, right? Life and death. There's, you know, so justified penetration, right? Justified marshalling, you know, in terms of making love, in terms of executing, in terms of going to war, right? It's connected. So um, we look at Horace the Younger, right? Uh, when I was basically when we look at my life, it was basically very much like an occult ritual. How do we deal with these martial artists' families, right? It's a ritual occult protocol, okay? Pro to kill, pro to call. Okay, look at Horace the Younger, right? When I was, uh, you know, and the accident I got in when I was younger that damaged my back, and later on they damaged my back, so I was about half my age when I got into that car accident. It's uh, the idea of the sun setting. Right, instead of the sun rising, God's plan in reverse. Right, if you look at it, I'm going to die sometime soon. You know, I rise halfway in life. The sun sets instead of in, in, in a sense because the back was damaged, and I stopped doing martial arts at that time as a consequence of that car accident. When I look back at it, it was 
absolutely a setup and sabotage. There's an overwhelming amount of evidence. People are basically animals uh, outside the divine order. And we'll get 